that's the most important thing in life to have a good time to live life live and love all you need is love <laughs> We live in a world with amazing cultures, tribes, and all kind of people. In the northwestern part of Pakistan is a place which is home to such a unique tribe, called the Kalash people. The future for the Kalash people is uncertain, but it is to be hoped that they can maintain their traditions and culture. Because what makes our world so colorful are people like them and I got the chance to visit them. We are right now at a very interesting place. It's called the Kalash Valley. And it's so interesting because the Kalashi people that are living here existing for more than over 5,000 years. And unfortunately, there are only 3,800 of them left because they're struggling with isolation, they're struggling with finding jobs and they're basically struggling to struggling. <laughs> they're basically struggling maintaining their unique community, which is a very sad thing because their culture is one of the richest and most colorful ones I ever saw in my life. Their valley lays in a very, very mesmerizing and beautiful place surrounded by mountains in the north of Pakistan. So what else is interesting about the Kalash Valley is... Kalash Valley is... They have wine. Oh, they, yes. They're producing their own wine here. Okay. It's a legal fact, right? <laughs> like I can say it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. That they're producing their own wine and also vodka. Yeah. Yeah. And it's not a bad one. <laughs> Tell me something about the people. Kalasha is the, their unique culture, you know. It's only in, in Pakistan, these three villages they are living. Mm. Uh, and we are going to hear one more interesting fact about the Kalash Valley, which is? They are very friendly. They welcome all the tourists. They let them come in their house. They give them food. They present them the gifts. Mm -hmm. And also they let them, you know, wear their dresses. And, you know, yeah. they feel proud of it. Yeah, they're proud, they're proud of their own culture and they're very hospitable people. Yes. Like they're welcoming other people and everybody who comes here is welcomed and has a good time. And this is I a really a shit place inside. actually. <laughs> <laughs> they're marrying because they love each other. Yes. All marriages are 100% love marriages. Yeah. That's nice. There's no single arrangement. That's they are said to be descendants of Alexander the Great's army, which explains their remarkable blue eyes and fair skin. Their homes are simple and traditional. Uh, this is their living room, this is their bedroom, this is their kitchen. Okay. So... <laughs> the Kalash do welcome foreigners and tourists because tourism is one of their main incomes. The village is quite isolated and difficult to reach. But this makes it even more obvious why they love having contact with the outside world. They are very proud of their culture. They want to show it to others and teach about their traditions. We all share the same home, Earth. But still it's so fascinating how different and special humans can be. And I think that's a wonderful thing. The Kalash people are something special and they belong to the soul of Pakistan. It's official now that Verena is the best travel partner ever. It's the second time today that she bought me a Pepsi without even asking me. She can be so nice. I'm always nice because I know what you love. Hi, cutie. <laughs> and these are also some nice guys. They're showing us the best places in Pakistan. Oh yeah, and more to come. Yeah.